In this video, I'm going to be talking about creating a zip looped package. Uh, this is one way that you can actually save a, <clears throat> a project that you were working on so that you could open it up on other computers that have the full version, the purchase version. So being able to actually save in the zip loop package, you might be able to do that with the demo or the with the demo or the trial version, but as far as actually opening it, you will need the full program. So let's say there's a possibility that you were working on a track at home and you don't have the demo or the trial version, uh, you might be able to save your project in the zip looped package uh, for file format and you could email it to yourself and come to class and open it up and pick up from where you left off because all the computers in class have the full version on them. So I'm just gonna make a very simple beat Nothing intense because my main focus here is showing you the zip loop package. Do a little four on the floor for the kick and fill these with two steps. And I guess I'll throw in a little uh, snare. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, so I'll go ahead and link these all to their own mixer tracks. Okay, so this isn't particularly elaborate but let's say that I wanted to add some drums on here that I didn't have let me configure an extra folder I thought I had one uh, that was connected to the computer okay sweet so let's say I took some sounds that weren't stock I don't even know Okay, a little cowbell. Yeah. Let's see if I can find a couple other sounds. So I'll put these on their own tracks as well. And we're getting a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but this is this is where we are. I got two sounds that don't exist within here normally because I configured this extra folder, uh, which I go over in that first video that I posted uh, about configuring extra folders. But anyway, the sounds that are in those extra folders don't come stock in uh, FL Studio 20. So. I did that to prove this point. Now I can click File, Export, and I wanna click Zip Loop Package, which is that first one. So I click that. I'm gonna save it here in this class recordings uh, channel, and I'm just gonna put more cowbell is what I'll call it. Okay, so now I can close this out uh, I guess since I'm recording, I'm gonna have to minimize this. I'll just open a new instance. Okay, here's my new instance and I click open and I'll navigate to the folder, more cowbell. And I will open it and bam, those, all my sounds there and everything. So that's the video, I hope that helped out. Um, 
I guess actually really quickly to show you, if I were to use a zip archiver, the reason that that file works is because it saves an FLP. I think because I opened this, then now I'm talking over here to, let me turn this one off. Okay. I got rid of the echo. Um, if you were to open up this this file, because this is how we saved the project, more cowbell. If you opened it up with a zip archiver, as you can see, it, it actually saves the FLP in connection with this, but everything is uh, written into this file here. So that's why it works that way. Okay. Stay tuned for the next video.